How could it be marshy at the top of the hill? How is that possible? Is this like a bomb crater? I can't believe I forgot booze. It's a cardinal sin. So, what do you do with yourself when you find you've got a few days off and nothing better to do? I'll tell you what, you walk from the top of Dartmoor down to the bottom. Well, that's the plan. Just been dropped off at uh, uh, Oakhampton Station. That's a fairly recently opened, reopened station, which is like a gateway to the moors. Uh, you just come around the back way there and up this road apparently and you're on the moor so we'll find out so this is uh, my trek across Dartmoor which I've been promising myself I'm going to do for absolutely ages So I'm at the top of the uh, path, just, just got into Dartmoor now, ish, uh, but my Garmin has, uh, navigation system is sending me up this road here, but I'm not carrying too much weight. Um, I've got uh, the trusty old rucksack, uh, which is about 30 years old, just a bit older than me. And um, I'm carrying a base weight of about 11 kilos. And then you've got uh, three kilos of food and water probably a bit of an overkill that's dried food as well I think I might have bought too much but I'm not actually in a rush to do this I'm not uh, doing it as a sprint it's more of a marathon so hopefully I'll get to see some of the sights as I walk through Dartmoor um, and I think the weather's going to be pretty good apart from Friday so that's it really I'll catch you a bit further down the trail and see if I see anything interesting so uh, I'm on the road to Heart Tour. That's uh, Road Tour. Yeah, no, that's Road Tour. The army base is behind me, and I haven't got a clue what that is over there. But uh, it's quite a nice little stretch of road. And easy than walking over rough land, which I will be doing later, obviously, I'm assuming. Anyway, it's nice to be out. The sun is, sun is warm. It's warming me. I'm a bit too hot, actually. So I might have to uh, disrobe find a pool to swim in and wash myself off later on uh, yeah I've done this route quite a few times actually but uh, not down this way I go up that way up to uh, uh, yes towards yes tour and all of that which is quite a nice walk but this one I haven't um, I haven't done before on this particular route not camping anyway so we got the plan is over the 30 odd miles to uh, take it easy, not too uh, too strenuous and not in a race. I just want to enjoy a bit of Dartmoor. So that was the idea of it. Um, and two or three nights while camping out. Weather looks good. Pack weight's not too bad. We'll get down after we've eaten all the food. So not too far into the route yet because I'm slow it's not a race life isn't a race it's not a race uh, my son just uh, texted me he said he's over on uh, uh, not heart tour higher tour which is actually over looks nearby but it's over the hill and far away and obviously I'm using the uh, Garmin for my route to keep me on track so I don't wander off too much right What's the time? I haven't got a clue. The time is oh, one o'clock. A bit too early for lunch, although I do have a uh, Greg's bacon and cheese turnover slice that my son bought me. It's very kind of him. Thank you. Right, this was my first water stop, but I haven't used any water yet, so I'm not going to bother. But the view is not bad. 
He's not bad at all. Really. If I can get this camera working. And I have learned some map navigating skills because I thought it was about time I did that. So I'll share those basic skills with you later for anyone that's never used it, never done it before. Uh, if I don't get to the other end, you know that I've made a huge mistake. Well, I have got some blue skies behind me, some quite dark skies in front of me, which is a bit ominous, but um, hey-ho, <laughs> in we go. I just passed uh, a couple of, well, four of them, four uh, soldiers on a training yump. I asked them, it's not live firing at the moment, is it? He says, it's always live firing. Uh, no, it's all blanks today and for the rest of the week, so I should be should be safe. But you never know, a stray bullet might get me. The uh, scenery's nice, some lovely, uh, lovely blue skies over that way. But you can see the skies behind me a bit greyer. And uh, that's the way I'm headed. It looks a bit misty. Might make for some nice photos on the 50 and nifty Instagram page, you never know. Did I say there was an Instagram page? Yeah. So I haven't done a huge amount of filming, as I said before, because it's actually quite a palaver. Whilst it's nice to share things, and I do do it because I like people to see Dartmoor and the hikes that I do, it's quite a faff, if I'm honest. Uh, it takes a lot of time and energy and effort but I thought this one is worth seeing because it's a it's quite a long hike 30 miles spread over a few days obviously I'm not rushing it I haven't got there yet so we'll see but apart from the soldiers I haven't actually met anyone on on route yet right oh what's that that's that's Yes Tour, I think, is it not? Oh, I'll have to look that up. Yes, it is Yes Tour. Yes, yes, it is Yes. Yeah, in the distance there. That's Yes Tour. I've only got 27 miles left. Not got very far yet. Wish me luck. See you later. Cheers. So this lovely track that I've been following, which has been nice and easy, walk, hike, has run out now. It does carry on up there. But my Garmin is saying take a sharp left. Hmm. Which is up there. Just about see a path, I think. Can you can you see a path? Can you, can you see the path? Can you see what it is yet? Well, there's a, an existing path here. So, uh, track. So I'm up that way, into the moors proper. No more easy walking. Oh well, all good things must come to an end. Right, off we go. Oh, look at the light on there. I'm gonna stop and take a few photos of that. Oh, that's nice. The light. Stay out of the light. No, stay in the light. Right, we're going this way. I'm just going to take a few pics. Oh, is that a path? Oh yeah, kind of. Sweating? Yeah, who's sweating? I'm not sweating. It's um, it's rain. Yeah, falling on my head. Raindrops keep falling on my head. It's a song. Huh? Um, yeah, that was a bit of a steep climb up off the path. I've got to head up here, and I think that's I think that's is that Steeperton? 
and that's that must be oak tour yeah that's the that's that ridge with oak tour in it so we've come this way before and then we climbed in fact that was my second camp oak tour uh second wild camp but the scenery is beautiful here the light's falling on it uh so i'm pretty sure that's deeperton up there at the end of the oak tour run so apparently Oh no, I'll go off to the right. Right, I don't have to go up there. <laughs> I'll just show you it anyway. So that's Steeperton. And that's the valley through where the sun is. And that's the, what I call the Oak Tour Ridge. And I'm not sure what that one is over there. Any ideas, let me know. I quite like hiking solo because you can stop when you want to. You can, um, have a coffee break when you want. You can go in whatever direction you want to go in, whatever takes your fancy, and you haven't got to have a debate. Although it's nice to have company. My son was going to come up with me on this trek, uh, but he's gone off in a different direction. Ah, here's the path, right. So this is, oh, that is a proper path. I'll be following that then. Yeah, so that just leads up all the way up through there, which is where I want to be. Well, I hope that's where I want to be. Who knows? What a glorious day. Oh, can you see those hills behind me? They are stunning. With the sun on them. I'm going to have to get some more photos. It's a photo trip. It's not really a hike. Do I look sweaty in this? <laughs> can you smell me? That wouldn't be wise. Might find a place to have a dip later. Bit of a skinny dip. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. for a break. I'm about six miles in from Okehampton so it's not too far. I'm going to do another couple of miles. You've got Western Tour, Wild Tour, Steeperton, um, High Will Hayes is over there and Lint Tour. It is absolutely deadly silent apart from me yapping on. A bit eerie. There's no birds tweeting. There's no sheep noise, there's no cow noise, there's no wind. It's like everyone's gone away. Maybe it's a sign. Anyway, I'm going to go and do a couple more miles um, and find somewhere to camp. Have my uh, not too appetising uh, little pasta packs which I'm actually just going to pour hot water into and let them sit for a while and they're 69p so uh, I thought that's going to be easier than doing too much got some snacks got some uh, pepperamis but I haven't got any booze not one drop you want to bring a couple of pints so it's now just coming up to five and uh, Although I was thinking of going down a Fernworthy, because I do love it down there, down by the reservoir. I'm uh, going to try and find somewhere to camp up here. Oh, this is marshy. Oh my God, I'm not camping here. Um, and set up for the night. Get a coffee on. I am dying for a coffee. How could it be marshy at the top of the hill? How is that possible? Is this like a bomb crater? It's just like water everywhere. Oh yeah, maybe it is. Right, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, that way. 
Right, I'll um, find somewhere to camp up and then uh, maybe, uh, I'm not going to show you what I'm cooking because it's, it's rubbish, but it's a necessity because it's simple and easy. But the view's quite nice, I don't know if you can see it on this little gimbal, this little camera. Some dramatic skies. Let's find a dry place to camp, I think. Right. God, I'm hungry. I could do with a beer. Can't believe I forgot booze. It's a cardinal sin. Right. That way. I found a, a spot. It is near a burial kist, but I don't think they'll mind. I'm gonna park myself over there. But this is uh, where I'm at. So I've got this, uh, well, I guess it's a burial kist or cyst. What do you call it, a burial kist? I think it's a kist, not a cyst. That's something nasty on your body. But I've got Fernworthy over there, which I was thinking of getting down to, but I don't think I'll bother. I've been there before. Where are you gone? There you are. You see what I mean about filming? I think it can be a bit more hassle than it's worth. Anyway, I've got my uh, coffee on the go. I will have my coffee on the go. And um, I have a couple of coffees. The sun is just setting over the hills there. Uh, casting its light over the hills. It's setting behind me. So not the best view in the world, but hey-ho. Right, let's have a coffee. Do you want one? Did you bring sugar? No? No. Oi. Whoa, that's quick. That is quick. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's kind of all right. They do for now. Well, that's a nice bit of light. I'm obsessed with the light on hills, in case you hadn't noticed from my Instagram. But every time I see it and try and photograph it, it never comes out how you see it. Obviously, the dynamic range of your eye is better than that of a camera. So I'm going to try and take some landscape pictures up here and I will post them later on on my, well they should be up on the Instagram by the time this video goes out. And I've only brought my little cheap bridge camera, what I call my crash camera, which has got a single zoom built into it, which is like 1200 mil. So the quality isn't fantastic but not too bad and for this it's ideal because I didn't want to bring my proper camera because um, it'd just be lugging it around all the time so I'm gonna take a few pictures and uh, and I'll post them on the video and you can see them on the Instagram all right I'm gonna have my coffee now and shut up I think sunset's about half past seven and it is um, half past six. So I've got another hour. So I'll set up uh, the tent at about seven-ish. Pitch late, pack up early, all of that kind of jive. So the uh, sun's gone down. I've got a few pics, not very good. Um, and it's, I feel a mist, you know, the dew coming down and everything's starting to get a little bit damp. So uh, I've set the tent up. I've set the tent up, the Lanshan One Pro. And um, same as usual, really. I'm not going to go through it all, but I do like the way it blends in. I do like that. And if you didn't know it was there, 
you uh, would hardly see it, would you? Let's get a better shot of it. It looks brighter in on the camera than it does actually uh, in real life. From a distance, you can hardly tell it's there. Anyway, that's Fernworthy Forest. The reservoir's over that way, which is beautiful. If you get a chance, go to the forest, uh, the reservoir and the forest. It really is a, uh, a lovely place. One of my favorite places on Dartmoor. And I was gonna do it, but to be honest, I got a long trek. I've been there before. Um, and I might see something different en route down this way. So I'm gonna say good night. I've got coffee on, which is probably a bad idea, but uh, I need something warm to keep me going. It's getting a bit chilly, so I'll say good night and uh, have a good one. I'll catch you in the morning for the next leg of the Dartmoor N to S, north to south, Oakhampton to Ivy Bridge. You can walk it in a day, really, but I'm just taking my time. <laughs> Why not? Right, night. Take it easy. Cheers. Catch you in the morning.